Hey guys, welcome back. I am DC creator and host of Barside Jive, and I want to welcome each of you to my daily dose of rock music history. Today is Wednesday, March 18th, 2020, and you are witnessing my Satisfaction Guaranteed Tour, day number 44. Remember, you can check out my Daily Dose archives as well as my other content on my YouTube channel. Just search Barside Jive Live. I am coming at you live from the vocal studios in North Dallas, so let's talk some rock and roll. On this day in 1902, 29-year-old Italian opera singer Enrico Caruso was played $50 each to record 10 songs on wax for the gramophone and typewriter company in Italy. He would go on to become the world's first recording star. Two years later, he began recording in America for the Victor Talking Machine Company, later RCA Victor. Over a 16-year span, he would earn millions of dollars in royalties from the retail sales of his 260 recordings. Britain's EMI Records announces that it has now stopped all production of 78 RPM discs on this day back in 1959. On this day in 1965, the Standells appear on an episode of The Munsters, one of my favorite shows, where they perform their version of I Want to Hold Your Hand to show the adults in the house what rock music is all about. The Standells, I love that dirty water. After three minor chart makers and Oklahoma group called Five Americans released their biggest hit, Western Union, which would rise to number five on the Hot 100 on this day back in 1967. <music> on this day in 1967, the Beatles enjoyed their 13th U.S. number one single with Penny Lane. The song's title refers to the busy shopping area around Allerton Road and Smithdown Road in Liverpool where John and Paul would meet to catch a bus into the center of the city. Penny Lane, love the song, love the place. DC's been there. Also on this day in 1967, the UK music magazine New Musical Express announces that Steve Winwood is planning to form a new group with Jim Capaldi, Chris Wood, and Dave Mason. The ensemble will choose the name Traffic. Go YouTube some Traffic. It's like got a great groove to it. Songs like Paper Sun, You Can All Join In, Roaming Through the Gloaming with 40,000 Headmen, Medicated Goo, John Barley Corn, Rock and Roll Stew, Feeling All Right, Freedom Rider, and my personal favorite, Light Up or Leave Me Alone. Sometimes I feel Neil Young enjoyed his only solo U.S. number one hit with Heart of Gold on this day in 1972. Backing vocals were provided by James Taylor and Linda Ronstadt. The song reached number 10 on the U.K. chart. Also on this day in 1972, Paul Simon's self-titled debut album topped the U.K. chart on the strength of the single's Mother and Child Reunion and Me and Julio Down by the Schoolyard. <music> On this day, 1978 was the year. The Bee Gees continued an amazing hot streak of three consecutive number one hits with Night Fever. After Oh Darling stalled at number 15, they would have three more chart toppers in a row.
The Rolling Stones introduced Daryl Jones as the replacement for baseman Bill Wyman on this day in 1994. Wyman had previously announced that he would no longer tour with the band. On this day in 2000, a film company paid over a million dollars for nine hours of film shot by Yoko Ono during the 70s that showed John Lennon smoking hash and talking about his political beliefs. John Phillips, the quiet leader of the Mamas and the Papas, died of heart failure at the age of 65 on this day in 2001. John's daughter, Mackenzie Phillips, co-starred in U.S. TV's One Day at a Time, which ran from 1975 until 1984. <music> On this day in 2017, Chuck Berry, one of rock and roll's founding fathers and true music legend, passed away at his home near St. Louis at the age of 90. Along with influencing a generation of guitarists, he placed 14 singles on the Billboard Hot 100 and 22 on the R&B chart. Well, kiddies, that is Rock and Roll and Wraps My Rock History Lesson today. But you can dry those eyes because there's more coming from me to you tomorrow and every day as I peel back those pages of my big-ass book of rock music history and explore the past of the rock legends on my daily dose of rock music. You can catch up on all my Daily Dose episodes as well as all of my content on YouTube. Just search, bar, search Barside Jive Live. Yeah, just search Barside Jive Live. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Barside Jive. I want to thank you for hanging out with me today during my Daily Dose. Please seek every day to be a hero in someone's life. See you soon. In the meantime, peace, love, and rock and roll. All right, Boner, take it away. Have mercy. Good night, Bill. BarsideJiveLive.com That's BarsideJiveLive.com